In this activity, we're going to make a lollipop stick catapult. Uh, so you'll need a, uh, about seven lollipop sticks in all. And I'm going to use a plastic spoon as well as the actual launch part. Um, you can use a bottle cap instead of the plastic spoon. You, you don't need the plastic spoon for this. If you want to use a bottle cap, that's fine. Uh, then you're going to need something to fire. So I'm going to use marshmallows. Uh, you might need a few extra um, because you might eat them along while you're doing the experiment. Uh, and then you're going to need uh, four elastic bands. So this experiment is very similar to the marshmallow catapult we did with the carton. And if you want to try that, um, I'm going to leave a link uh, in the description of this video um, to that to that video. Uh, so to start off with, what you're going to do is you're going to take five of your um, lollipop sticks and put them together in a bunch and then get uh, your elastic bands. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the elastic bands um, and put it through the elastic band twist it and, and put it around again and do that several times because these elastic bands are just to hold this bunch of uh, uh, lollipop sticks together and we're going to do the same on this side we're going to use the other elastic band for this side uh, and you put it around loop it five or six times just to hold them together so now it looks like a block like that now what we're going to do with the other two lollipop sticks is you're going to put them together and then you're going to take uh, one of the uh, la elastic bands and put it around the end and do the exact same thing as you did with, with the uh, five lollipop sticks. It's going to take, it's going to go around a few more times uh, because there's only two lollipop sticks in this and, and put it at the, at the very, as close to the end as possible. So now you have, um, it's like, it's hard to pull them apart now, as you can see, when you try and pull them apart, it's hard to pull them apart. And we're going to put this in, in between the two and that separates them. But now what you have is the, when you push down on these, there is energy and when you release it, it'll release that energy. And that's what we're going to use. We're going to use that energy to fire the catapult. So if you push in your um, five lollipop sticks into uh, the middle of this wedge, See like that, and then get your last elastic last elastic band and wrap it around the center bit. This is to hold it together. Just a few times, as many times as you can, just so they they're held together. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put this spoon on top of these elastic bands and maybe through them as well. So this go here and if you're using um, the if you're going to use a lot a, a bottle top the bottle top goes at the end here and you can either use a bit of blue at the bottom to hold it together or double sided tape so that's the uh, finished product you can see I'm just I've just put the spoon in there because uh, if you just put try and put the marshmallow onto the stick it won't hold so you need something to hold the stick you put that there and then you see, push it down, you're putting an energy into it, push it down as far as you can, and then it flies very high up into the air. And you could maybe make targets for it over here and see if you can get it into those targets. Uh, so that's a, an easy activity to do, uh, the lollipop stick catapult. I hope you like our lollipop stick catapult. Um, if you like um, these uh, simple science activities, you might want to subscribe to our channel. If you do, please click the little uh, button on the bottom of the screen. Um, and if you liked this activity, you might like our other catapult that we made using a juice carton and uh, two pencils. Um, I've left a link uh, in the description of this video to that video. So thank you very much for watching our video.